J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 undergraduate mathematics A questionnaire. The official link to the answer key and the original questions are in the description. We are given the curve y equals x squared, which is a parabola, and a point zero four, which we shall call p. We are asked to find the shortest distance between p and the parabola y equals x squared. First, we assume that the point closest to p is x o y o. We then write the expression for the distance between p. And the point x o y o. We then impose that the equation we obtained must have at least one real solution. That is because if there are no solutions to the equation, that means that there is no point that is closest to p. If there is at least one solution, that means that there is at least one point that is closest to p. If there are two solutions, then there are two points closest to p. Finally, we manipulate the resulting inequality to find the minimum value of the distance. First, we write the expression for the distance between p and x o y o. We use the usual distance formula. D here is the distance between the two points x sub o minus zero. Is the difference between the x coordinates? We square that, and we also do the same for the difference in the y coordinates. And then we write this equation, which stems from the fact that x o y o lies on the parabola y equals x squared. Then we notice that this bit is x squared, and so. We can replace that with this. We do that so that now we will have only y sub o and d. The equation now becomes like this. Let's call that equation star. The second step is to impose the condition that star must have at least one real solution. That means that the discriminant of star. Must be greater than or equal to zero. So we write here the discriminant of star, that is the square of the coefficient of the linear term minus four times the coefficient of the quadratic term times the constant term. We simplify this inequality and we obtain this, which can be rearranged to be this. Notice. That the solution to this inequality are either this or this. However, this solution can be ignored because the distance between two points cannot be a negative number, and so we ignore this solution. Our solution, therefore, is that the distance must be greater than or equal to the square root of fifteen over two. This means that for this equation to have at least one real solution, the distance must satisfy this inequality. And if we look at that inequality, we notice that the smallest possible value of d must be this value here. And so, this is the value that we are looking for as the answer. If you learned something new today. Please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya. J Hat Juku. Please hit subscribe.